Wasabi new goons, and welcome to my channel. A safe space for lovers of toys, model kits, and collectibles. Where we can all share in our admiration for the things that we could or couldn't have growing up. This is usually the part where I go, today on Ram just reviews. But as you can tell, there is no model kit, there is no toy, there is no collectible to review. It's just you and me. I'm speaking from the heart. I'm hoping to touch others. Paul. I started this channel around December of 2021. Now, I didn't actually start uploading until the summer of 2022. I'll be honest, I wasn't really motivated to put anything out. I'd already tried being a creator the year prior. I had, you know, built a gaming PC. I had started trying to stream and making content on TikTok and YouTube that way, playthroughs, walkthroughs, and it just wasn't working out how I wanted or expected it to, but that's also because I wasn't going about it completely wrong. I was what you call spam posting mediocre content, so I just needed to get out three TikToks or three reels or it didn't matter what it was. It was just, it'd be me like killing a couple people, just, you know, anything I could. And along with that, I was also just not putting proper tags. So like, it'd be a, a video about like, obviously me playing a walkthrough, but like the tags are saying stupid things about like, you know, another game completely. It was just, I was just doing anything I could. I wasn't picking things relevant. So I was like, all right, well, let me take some time to learn and actually see what am I doing wrong? Why am I having these issues? I mean... I'm definitely a lot better now. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I definitely do have progress to show. I mean, you can check my channel. You like that self plug, right? But back to why I started this channel. Uh, I guess during that burnout stage, I had a lot of personal issues going on, and I just didn't really have a lot of motivation. And I had really bad anxiety, like body shaking anxiety. A lot of questioning myself and just wondering, is this really what I want to do? So one day I'm in Target. I'm headed to the toy section because usually whenever I'm in Target, you'll find me in the toy section. Same thing goes for Walmart. Uh, I was having a really rough day. It had been a stressful time, stressful couple days, stressful couple weeks. I stumbled upon a Beyblade. And I'd seen Beyblades in the stores for years. But for some reason... Something was like calling me and saying, pick that up. So I grabbed the Beyblade off the shelf. And at the time in therapy, I'd been talking with my therapist about like finding certain things for like, why don't you try a stress ball? Me, I never found stress balls helpful. So I was like, I have an idea. So I bought the Beyblade, bought it home. I mean, the first thing I did when I got home is ran up to my son and say, look, this is what daddy played with when he was your age. And, you know, as a father, I always try to put on the things that I loved when I was a kid to him. I mean, obviously, they say you probably shouldn't put your hobbies on your kids. But, like, you know, if I can, like, make them like Star Wars or Power Rangers or Digimon, I think I'm doing my job right. So, but, yeah, it, it was just, I originally picked the Beyblade up. Oh, this is a stress ball. You know, this is something I can use to help me when I'm feeling down, when I'm feeling sad, when I need something to just calm me. So I'd take it in my hand and I would just twist it and twist it and twist it. The, la the layer, the top layer, I would twist and untwist the top layer over and over again. Now, that helped for a while, but eventually it just kind of stopped working. But during that process, what I found out is I found my love for Beyblades again. I started Googling how much it would be to pick up some Gen 1s because unfortunately, as a product of Gen 1, when I became a teenager, we started being made fun of for playing fun of the, playing with our toys still and playing collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards and doing all that stuff. So like me, self-consciously, or even things like watching wrestling in middle school, you were made fun of. So I stopped like publicly telling people or just liking things a lot by middle school because it was like, I'm not going to get bullied for still having wrestling toys and still having Beyblades and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And it took me until I was an adult and I was free and had, you know, adult money and time to finally get back into some of these hobbies and things that I enjoyed. And it just so happened it took me 
in that situation to find Beyblades again. And the next thing I know, I'm ordering Takara Tomy Beyblades because at that point, you know, as a kid, I only ever had Hasbro. I hadn't ever experienced them. And I fell in love with them, man. They were freaking crazy. The detail, it was just next level. So honestly, I'm like, yeah, that's why I got back into Beyblade. Like, and then from that point on, I knew what I wanted to do with this channel. I wanted it to be first a community, second a safe space, and third just a place for me to share my love and my admiration for the things I enjoy. Now, whether that be Star Wars figures, Transformers, Power Ranger Megazords, Beyblades, or Gundams. So, just so you guys know, this is. This isn't just a Gundam and Beyblade channel. I plan on reviewing and unboxing and just showing you everything I love to collect because I love anything like this. I've told people for years that I'm a grown-up kid. 11 and 13 is usually the age range I tell people because mentally I've always felt like I was still that. That sounds weird, but you get what I'm saying. You know, for many, that's when life changed. But for me, that's honestly the last time I truly ever re remember being happy. And that's probably before I was a teenager. So when I was, the last time I truly remember honestly being happy was like 11. And I've said it for years. And that's what, what always gets me back to that is thinking about the happiness that toys brought me. Waking up on a Christmas morning to open all those gifts that I obviously knew were hidden in the attic because I'd seen them weeks prior, but I'd still be just as happy. You know, it's before all the strifes in the day-to-day -day of being an adult happened. Before, you know, we got the adult stress. I'd tell my dad when I was a kid all the time, I can't wait till I'm 18. I can't wait till I move out. I can't wait till I do this, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I would give anything to just not be a kid again, but have the freedom to just enjoy the hobbies I love all the time, anytime. Like, all day, every day, just be able to immerse myself in those hobbies. But I was honestly too busy wishing my childhood away. So I bury myself in toys because honestly that's the closest thing I'll ever get to being as happy as I was as a kid. It was before all the stress, before all the strife. Honestly it was before being an adult kind of got the best of me. But one thing I've always had was toys. It was my first happiness. It's my forever happiness. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. Happy collecting. Wow, can you believe we made it to the end of this video? I mean, who needs Netflix when you've got entertainment like this? If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and smash, no, destroy that like button. And hey, if you're feeling generous, why not hit the share button and spread the love? Bye!